everybody welcome to my channel today we're gonna discuss about the uh, uh, grander causality test using our uh, software the grander causality test is the statistical hypothesis test for uh, determining whether one time series is useful for predicting or for forecasting another and as all of you know that there are two types of hypotheses the first one is a null hypothesis and the second one is alternative hypothesis null hypothesis if you want to set your null hypothesis you have to say it in this way so the time series of x variable doesn't grandeur cause the time series of what y variable and coming to the second one that means to the alternative one and if you want to set your alternative hypothesis so you have to say it in this way so the time series of x grandeur causes time series of what y variable so uh, let's add one important point over here the term the grandeur causality test means uh, it, it it will tell you that the knowing the value of the time series of x as a at certain like maybe one or maybe two or maybe three so it is useful for predicting the value of time series y at a later time uh, period so by this way you can define the grandeur uh, uh, causality or the grandeur uh, causes and um, in addition to this uh, the grandeur causality test also produce f statistics uh, to this correspond of what the p-value and for example if the p-value is less than uh, from uh, well, from some critical point for example let's say you set 0.01 or you set alpha level into 0.05 so if the value is less than from the critical point so uh, we can you know, we can uh, reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that we have a sufficient evidence uh, to say that the uh, time series x grandeur uh, causes time series uh, y but if the p-value is greater than uh, from the alpha level so we may accept uh, our null hypothesis and to perform the grandeur uh, causality test uh, in our software we can we have to use the grandeur uh, test function uh, which is uh, built in the ln test uh, package so uh, and in these cases, we in, 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 in today's tutorial, uh, we have package. So in this tutorial, we have to use the data is called the data chick egg. And if you want detailed information about the, uh, your data name, so you have to ask or you have to write a question mark and write the data name. So our data name is the chick egg. So submit uh, this one in our software. So it will provide you detailed information regarding to uh, your um, data. So according accordingly, our uh, data is um, our or the value values for the chick egg here is our values chick egg it is contains the number of eggs manufactured along with the number of chicken in the United States of America from 1930 to 1983 with two variables so our variables is the chicken and as well as here also egg so to perform the uh, grandeur uh, causality test in our you have to use as i mentioned before the grandeur test which is followed by x and y then also the order so x means it is uh, here is chicken y means is egg and order is the like so when we bring the here is chicken means it's the first time series and egg is the second time series and order is the number of luck to use in the first uh, time uh, series so usually the default is one but i made here is uh, three i used three so type this and submit to our studio then you will get this result as you can see here there are two models model one and model two and coming to the interpretation of model one means the the model one attempts to predict the number of uh, chicken uh, using the number of chicken for the last what three years so one one up to uh, three indicates that you are using uh, to estimate chicken by using the number of chickens uh, in the previous three years in addition to that here is also plus that means you have to uh, again you have to add that means the number of uh, eggs in the previous uh, three uh, years so uh, to sum up of the model one when when you want to write in the statement 
So module one attempts to predict the number of chicken using the number of chicken uh, in the previous three years and the number of eggs in the previous year, three years as what well as a, a predictor a variable. Coming to the model two interpretation, uh, the model two attempts to predict the number of chicken using only of what the number of chicken that are uh, in, the, the, in the previous what in the previous three years as what as a predictor variables. But in the model one, in addition to the chicken, but here is also the egg value. And moreover, the F stats, as you can see here, is 5.405 corresponding to its p-value, and the p-value is 0 0.002966. So, uh, if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we can reject what? Our null hypothesis. According to our result, our p-value is less than uh, 0 0.05, which is 0 0.02966 is less than 0 0.05. So we have no evidence, uh, or so uh, we have to what we have to reject our uh, null hypothesis, and we have to conclude that knowing the number of eggs is useful for predicting the future number of chickens. So by this way, you can uh, interpret the uh, result. So we have uh, sufficient evidence what to reject an hypothesis. So by this way, you can interpret the result. So uh, furthermore, let's, uh, um, let's uh, reverse the x and the y. In, the, in, this, in this case, the x is chicken and the x is y. Let's bring y into x. So egg will be take this uh, the x position and chicken will take the y position. All things are the same. So run this one and submit to our studio. So as you can see here, our p-value is uh, 0 0.6238. So uh, since uh, the p-value is uh, greater than 0 0.05, so we can reject our what? Our null hypothesis. So the number of chicken is not predictable of what? Uh, the future number of egg. So finally, uh, we conclude that knowing the number of egg is useful for predicting the future number of chickens. So by this way, you can interpret and analysis the Granger casualty test using our software. So as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, provide your constructive feedback, as well as if you have any question regarding my tutorial, you can address me through my email, as well as YouTube uh, comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.